three, two, one. We have ignition and we have liftoff. From strange signals to unexplained forces, certain discoveries have aroused interest among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. So come along with us right now as we explore some of the most puzzling occurrences in our universe that have left scientists baffled for decades. The WOW Signal. The WOW Signal. The WOW Signal. A mystery that keeps scientists scratching their heads. It's like the universe is playing a game of guess who, and, well, we're pretty much still losing, which kind of sucks. Anyways, the WOW signal is an interesting phenomenon detected by astronomer Jerry R. Emmon, who at the time was working on a project at SETI. The signal Jerry detected was so strong that he wrote out the words WOW on a piece of paper. <clears throat> Hence the name. Some people feel the signal was a simple glitch from Earth, but others feel it's something much bigger. They feel the signal came from an advanced civilization, maybe one that might have solved the mystery of travelling faster than the speed of light, and is now probably on their way to Earth either to be friends or… well, let's not think about that, shall we? But until we can really confirm the source of this weird signal, we're just going to have to play the guessing game. fast radio bursts, radio burps from the cosmos that were first discovered about mm, a dozen years ago. Okay, so what are these things? You hear a little beep in your radio telescope. It's really short, about an eye blink in length, maybe a thousandth of a second, two thousandth of a second. The fact that it's so short means whatever's causing it has to be pretty small, and pretty small means, you know, maybe less than a thousand miles in size. That's small compared to something like I don't know, a star or something like that. Now, how are you going to figure out what these things are? The first thing you need to know is where are they coming from? How far away are they? Fast radio bursts, the cosmic equivalent of a one-night stand. Intense bursts of radio waves that last, say, only milliseconds, leaving us with no clue about their origin. You see, one of the most puzzling aspects of the fast radio bursts is their intensity. These bursts are said to release more energy in a fraction of a second than our sun does in an entire day. Basically a cosmic firework show on steroids. But the real kicker is that despite tons and tons of research, we've only detected around 100 fast radio bursts to date. That's like solving a jigsaw puzzle with just a handful of pieces. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of these little bursts is their unpredictability. You know, they could happen at any time, from any direction, and we have absolutely no way of knowing when the next one's going to strike. Now, these bursts will continue to remain one of the most mysterious and, as far as I'm concerned, one of the most scary and enigmatic phenomena in the universe. Stars in gas. You know, 25% is dark matter. Yeah, so about, yeah, five is normal matter, about 25 is dark matter, and about 70 is dark energy. That's the other thing I was the other ask thing. you about. Yeah. Yeah, so what the hell's that? Don't know. Uh, <laughs> know what it does. So again, what, see, if we, go back, we, we talked about Einstein's theory earlier. So Einstein's theory, which works spectacularly well, says that if you put stuff into the universe, as we said before, then it warps and deforms and stretches. And it very precisely tells you given the stuff that you put in it how much does it stretch and how does it stretch and the the measurement we have is how, how it's stretching dark energy the elusive and mysterious big boy that makes the universe expand faster than a cheetah on red bull one of mankind's greatest mysteries well if you ask a physicist in einstein's theory of space and time the best theory that we have then the space and time are like a blob so so really the, there's no sense in which the future unfolds it's there and, and we're travelling into it at the moment. Now, that might not be right, but it's the best theory we have of space and time at the moment. Now, one of the things that makes dark energy so mysterious is that we can't see it, touch it, or measure it directly. It's like the invisible friend that you had as a kid, except this friend is responsible for, you know, the fate of the entire universe. 
But just because we can't see it, doesn't mean that we don't know anything about it. We know that dark energy is causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate, which is a bit like trying to run a marathon while riding a unicycle. It's a tricky business. Some scientists think that dark energy might be a property of space itself, like a sort of cosmic vacuum energy. Others think that it might be some sort of exotic particle we haven't discovered yet. Ah, personally, I like to think that it's just the universe messing around with us. You know what they say, the universe works in mysterious ways and dark energy might just be one of those mysteries. See, if we still find it hard to figure it out, well, you know, we can just blame it on aliens, right? That seems to solve everything. That thought, I mean, that's kind of the beauty of the field of techno signatures and looking for life is you can find inspiration and intellectual joy in just the smallest little thing that starts a whole thread of building upon it and wondering about the implications. And so in this case, I was just really struck by, uh, we kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, the idea that stars are not static. We tend to think of the galaxy as having stars in a certain location from the center of the galaxy and they kind of live there. But in truth, the stars are not only orbiting around the center of the galaxy, um, but those orbits are themselves changing over time, they're processing. For those who aren't familiar, the Oort cloud is basically a hypothetical cloud of icy objects that's believed to exist at the outermost edge of our solar system. It was named after the Dutch astronomer Jan Oort, who first proposed its existence back in 1950. You see, one of the reasons why it's so mysterious is that, well, despite our very best efforts, we, um, uh, it's a bit embarrassing actually, we haven't actually seen it. Yeah, it's, it's basically a cloud we can't see. As a matter of fact, the only evidence we've got is just based on some sciencey stuff like the trajectory of certain comets that seem to come from its direction. Now, I don't know about you, but I find that kind of funny that we, you know, we're talking about a cloud we can't see. I mean, isn't that just like trying to describe you know, like a collar to someone who's never seen it before? But hey, that's the beauty of science, right? Sometimes the most fascinating things are the ones that we can't actually see. Well, it's very diffuse. I mean, it's moving out at a fair rate of knots. I mean, the, 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 the stuff which is emitted from a single supernova is, is flung out initially at uh, tens of thousands of kilometers a second. That's going at some fair rate. And the gas that is produced in this supernova um, explosion is, is crazily hot, you know, 10 million, 100 million degrees. So it's really hot gas, and really hot gas is slow to cool. So the reason that when we look in the Milky Way, for example, at the uh, out of our galactic plane at this hot gas, the reason it's still there is it just takes a really long time to cool down when it, when it gets heated to such high temperatures. Hypervelocity stars. Now, why does that sound like the superhero of stars? <laughs> now, anyway, these stars move really fast. In fact, faster than the escape velocity of our Milky Way galaxy, which is about 550 kilometers per second. However, there are theories that suggest that these stars have been flung out of our galaxy's center by a supermassive black hole. Talk about a wild ride. What makes these stars so mysterious is that their origin and direction are still largely unknown. Like, how did they get such an incredible speed boost? Did they interact with other celestial objects, like a neutron star? Or did they receive a gravitational slingshot from another galaxy? It's like they just popped out of nowhere and decided to zoom right across the universe. But hey, anything's possible in space, right? So, guys, picture this. It is a beautiful, it's a glorious summer morning in Siberia in 1908. The birds are chirping, the trees are swaying in the breeze. The locals are going about their daily business, right? You've got the idea. And suddenly, a blinding flash of light brightens the sky, followed by a deafening explosion that quiets the forest for a couple of minutes. It's like nothing anyone has experienced before. Well, this weird little imagination session has kept scientists confused for years because they've absolutely no clue whatsoever as to what really caused the Tunguska event. Now, this obviously has led to several theories as to what it was. Some people believe it was a comet. Others, 
a meteor, while some even go so far as speculating an alien spaceship that crashed into Earth. Well, you never know. The Tunguska event is a fascinating mystery that stirred some pretty weird theories and perplexed scientists. Now, maybe we'll figure it out, or maybe we won't. Either way, it's something to definitely ponder while you hit that like button. In the early 1970s, NASA launched the Pioneer spacecraft, which was designed to fly out of our solar system and into space to gather data on the way. However, something strange happened somewhere along the way. Scientists noticed that the spaceship was slowing down, and they had absolutely no idea why this was happening. Right, that The ship kept on decelerating at a rate that was unaccounted for, and they called this the Pioneer anomaly, and to date it's remained an unsolved mystery. Now it's possible that unknown gravitational forces may have caused it, or it could have been a flaw in the spaceship. No one really knows, but it is crazy how we've sent humans to the moon and landed rovers on Mars, but we still can't figure out what exactly slowed down the spaceship. The Kuiper Belt is a mysterious region of space located beyond the orbit of Neptune. Scientists feel it's home to countless icy objects, some of which might be as big as Pluto. Now, one of the reasons why this guy is getting some hype is that it is really very, very far from us. Like, it's so far that it takes light, you know that little guy that claims to be the fastest, it takes light over five hours to travel from the sun down there. That's like you know, driving from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, except instead of driving, you're traveling at the speed of light. So, yeah, it's, it's really far. Another reason why the Kuiper Belt is so interesting is that it may hold clues about the formation of our solar system. Scientists believe the icy objects in there are leftovers from an early solar system, and understanding them could help us to understand how our solar system came to be, and ultimately, how we came to be. In all seriousness, though, the Kuiper Belt is a truly remarkable place. It's a vast and mysterious region of space that might hold many secrets about our solar system's past. Maybe one day we'll send a spacecraft there to learn all about it and discover its hidden secrets. The Fermi Paradox has been a fascinating concept that has interested and puzzled scientists for a long, long time. The universe today is estimated to contain billions of galaxies, and yet, despite our best efforts, we are yet to find any signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. It's like playing hide-and-seek with the universe, but it's winning, without even trying. OK, so now maybe intelligent civilizations are really out there, but simply too far from us to notice, right? Or maybe they're purposely avoiding us. Rude either because we're just too dumb for them, or maybe it's really because we're far too advanced. Hmm. Or maybe it's because they just don't want an intergalactic equivalent of the paparazzi. In any case, the Fermi Paradox is a serious scientific inquiry that could probably provide us insight into the nature of our very existence and the possibility of other potential lives out there. The universe is definitely full of surprises. The Great Filter, a concept that has captured the imagination of sci-fi writers a lot. The idea behind this is that there may be a point in the development of intelligent civilizations where they encounter some sort of insurmountable obstacle that stops them from advancing further. This filter could be any number of things. Maybe it's the difficulty of developing interstellar travel, or the chances of self-destruction through war or environmental catastrophe. Whatever it is, the idea is that it's a difficult hurdle that most civilizations fail to overcome. Because despite the size of the universe, it is really weird, right, that we are yet to encounter any other form of intelligent life. Now, some people speculate that the filter is so formidable that it prevents us, most advanced species, from ever being able to communicate with one another, which, you know, sucks. But it is also possible that we simply haven't looked hard enough, or, like the Fermi Paradox brought up, that these guys are avoiding us. Now, after all, if we were to stumble upon a more advanced civilization, 
who's to say they wouldn't just enslave us all and make us their intergalactic lackeys? Imagine having to clean an alien toilet. Oof. So, did you enjoy the video? Why don't you give it a thumbs up and check out our other videos? Thanks for watching. Fact nominal.